Chris Weber. Chris Weber, whose real name is Mace Edward Christopher Weber III, born March 1, 1973, is an American former professional basketball player. Weber had a 15 years tenure in the National Basketball Association, NBA, primarily with the Sacramento Kings, where he spent the majority of his career. Selected as the first overall pick in the 1993 NBA draft, he achieved accolades such as being a five-time NBA All-Star, a five-time All-NBA team member, and winning the NBA Rookie of the Year award. Additionally, Weber also played for the Golden State Warriors, Washington Bullets, Philadelphia 76ers, and Detroit Pistons throughout his NBA journey. Weber, a former recipient of the National High School Basketball Player of the Year Award, led his high school team to victory in three Michigan State High School Basketball Championships. During his college years, he earned first-team All-American honors and played a pivotal role in the success of the Michigan Wolverines Fab Five recruiting class of 1991. The team reached the NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship Games in 1992 and 1993 during his freshman and sophomore years. However, his involvement in a scandal related to payments from boosters led to legal troubles and the revocation of his All-American honors by the NCAA. Currently, Weber serves as a commentator for NBA games and has also held teaching positions at Wake Forest University and Morehouse College. He was honored with induction into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2021. Net Worth Chris Weber has an estimated net worth of $70 million. He accumulated these substantial sums through his NBA career, lucrative endorsement deals, and successful ventures in business. The TNT broadcaster, who boasts five NBA All-Star appearances, is putting up his modern beachfront residence for sale at $3.995 million. The 2,900-square-foot property features three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and offers stunning vistas of the Malibu coastline from the living room's glass doors spanning 180 degrees. Additionally, the secluded backyard boasts a lap pool. Early Life Chris Weber, born Mace Edward Christopher Weber III in 1973 in Detroit, Michigan, to Mace and Doris Weber, emerged as a standout basketball talent during his high school years at Detroit Country Day School. Recognized as one of Michigan's most sought-after high school prospects since Magic Johnson, Weber guided his school to three MHSAA state championships and earned accolades as Michigan's Mr. Basketball and the National High School Player of the Year during his senior year. Transitioning to college, Weber enrolled at the University of Michigan, where he joined the celebrated Fab Five alongside Juwan Howard, Jalen Rose, Ray Jackson, and Jimmy King. Despite reaching the NCAA Finals in both 1992 and 1993, the team fell short on both occasions. Weber's collegiate career took a controversial turn when it was revealed that he had accepted $200,000 from a local booster, resulting in the forfeiture of his first-team All-American status and a ban from associating with Michigan's basketball program. In 2002, Weber was charged for lying to a grand jury as part of a larger investigation of a numbers gambling operation. As a result of evidence admitted during the course of Martin's trial, Weber pleaded guilty to one count of criminal contempt for lying about his role in a scandal in which four players, including himself, had accepted illicit loans from Martin. Martin had been giving money to Weber since the 8th grade. He admitted in the plea that in 1994, he gave Martin about $38,000 in cash as partial repayment for expenditures Martin made on his behalf. He was ordered to pay $100,000 and perform 330 hours of community service. Personal Life Earlier that year, Weber married his longtime girlfriend Erica Dates during a private ceremony at his Atlanta home. In attendance were 200 guests including family and close friends. Since 1994, he has been amassing a personal assortment of African-American artifacts, which he initiated upon entering the NBA by acquiring two slave records. Weber perceives these artifacts as reflections of his convictions and ambitions. Initially, he gathered them as sources of encouragement to confront life's challenges. On June 28, 2007, Weber revealed his collection of African-American artifacts at the Celebrating Heritage Exhibition at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African-American History in Detroit. Engaging in numerous charitable activities, he established the Time Out Foundation in 1993 to offer positive educational and recreational opportunities to youth. 
Additionally, in 1999, Weber instituted SeaWeb's crew, which donates a group of tickets to at-risk youth and their families at every King's regular home season game, with over 3,000 youths and families benefiting to date. Hosting his second annual Bada Bling Charity Weekend from July 20th to 22nd, 2007, at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Weber further demonstrated his commitment to charitable causes. In 1998, he faced legal troubles, including charges of assault, resisting arrest, possession of marijuana, and driving under the influence of marijuana, after a speeding incident. However, he was ultimately acquitted of the major charges and fined for lesser violations. Additionally, Weber has ventured into music production, contributing to hip-hop records and even appearing on skits for acclaimed albums. Professional NBA Career In the 1993 NBA Draft, Weber was initially chosen by the Orlando Magic, but they promptly traded him to the Golden State Warriors. With the Warriors, Weber had a remarkable debut season, averaging 17.5 points and 9.1 rebounds per game, earning him the NBA Rookie of the Year award. However, tensions arose between Weber and his coach, Don Nelson, prompting Weber to exercise his one-year escape clause and express his desire to depart from the Warriors permanently. Consequently, the team traded him to the Washington Bullets, later renamed the Washington Wizards in 1997. During his three-year tenure with the Bullets, Weber faced setbacks, including injuries limiting him to just 15 games in his first season. However, he rebounded the following year, earning his first All-Star selection and leading the Bullets to their first playoffs in nearly a decade. In 1998, Weber was traded to the Sacramento Kings, marking the start of a prosperous chapter in his career. In his debut season with the Kings, he clinched the rebounding title with an average of 13 rebounds per game, propelling the team to the 1999 playoffs, where they were defeated by the Utah Jazz. Over subsequent years, the Kings emerged as a dominant force in the NBA. Weber's performances were instrumental in the team's success, including leading them to the playoffs in multiple seasons and securing division titles. However, their journey to the 2002 Western Conference Finals against the Lakers ended in a heartbreaking defeat in the deciding seventh game, despite Weber's commendable efforts. In the following seasons, injuries continued to hamper Weber's performance, culminating in his trade to the Philadelphia 76ers in 2005. Despite his return to the Warriors in 2008, persistent knee issues led to Weber's decision to retire from professional basketball. His final stint with the Warriors was short-lived, and he officially retired from the sport in March 2008 after being waived by the team. Post-playing career Since retiring from the NBA, Weber became an analyst on NBA TV's NBA Game Time Live. He did the Tuesday Fan Night alongside Ernie Johnson and Kevin McHale. He also served as an occasional guest analyst, primary, on TNT's Inside the NBA from 2008 to 2021. During Charles Barkley's leave of absence, Weber substituted for him along with other guests such as Gary Payton and Mike Fratello. Since 2017, he was also a regular panelist during NBA on TNT's Monday coverage called Players Only, which features only former NBA players as studio analysts, play-by-play -play announcers, and color analysts for games. In 2021, Weber parted ways with TNT on the eve of the NBA playoffs. Weber has expressed interest in eventually becoming a GM and owner. In August 2010, Weber played in the NBA Asia Challenge 2010 at Araneta Coliseum in Metro Manila, an exhibition game which pitted NBA legends and NBA Development League players against Philippine Basketball Association stars and legends. In late 2016, Weber began hosting Fearless or Insane on Podcast One. In 2018, with old age makeup, he played the role of preacher in the film Uncle Drew, which starred Kyrie Irving. In 2021, Weber announced the launch of a private equity fund for investing in minority-owned cannabis businesses. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with friends, and please subscribe.